Hello, my name is Tish. Thank you for joining me today for Tea and Knitting. I'm drinking Plum Deluxe Sweet Spot Butterscotch Black Tea from a Fire King teacup in Azurite. I talked about both of these a little bit in an earlier video. Knitted dishcloths are one of my favorite small and quick knitting projects. When I came across the pattern for a pineapple dishcloth designed by Megan of Knittle and Pearl, I had to try knitting it. You can get the instructions for knitting this dishcloth for free on the Knittle and Pearl website, or you can purchase a nicely formatted printable PDF of the pattern for $2. I'll leave a link in the video description to the pattern page so that you can knit your own pineapple dishcloth. I've knit a few of these in a variety of colors, as you can see. When knitting dishcloths like this one that feature a pattern, I have found that solid colors tend to work the best. Now, I love variegated and self-striping yarns, but for something like this, the stitch pattern won't show up as well if it has to compete with a patterned yarn. The dishcloth in progress that I have on my needles here uses Knit Picks Dishy Yarn in the Clementine colorway, which is 100% cotton worsted weight yarn. I'm knitting on size not, sorry, size seven straight needles, also from Knit Picks. I love their wood needles because they're quiet, comfortable to hold, and available in really pretty colors. While my knitting tools need to be functional, of course, I do appreciate it when they're beautiful too. Other yarn options that work well for knitting dishcloths are Peaches and Cream, Sugar and Cream, Burnett Handicrafter, and Lion Brand Reup. All of these are 100% cotton yarns, and I find that to be the best option for knitting dishcloths because it's absorbent, and you can toss it in the washer and dryer with the rest of your kitchen linens. I love to knit dishcloths partly because my mom was well known for knitting dishcloths and she always had a stockpile going and she would give them away to her family at Christmas time. So I keep a stockpile on hand because they make wonderful housewarming gifts and wonderful gifts for Christmas or any other occasion where you want to give someone a little hand knit gift. Thank you again for joining me today. I'll be posting more videos about teacups, tea, and knitting in the future. Have a good day.